Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi guys, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I welcome you to the class. Thank you very much for logging in on time. How are you today, guys? Hi, good evening. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand. We, we understand that perfectly. All right, so that's why I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for being here regardless uh, how you feel, because I know that right now you want to be sleeping, but this is actually something. Now, thank you, Julia, Adrian, and Evelyn for being logged in. I have a question. Do you have any questions about yesterday's class? Mm. No, I don't care. No? No, I, I was waiting and listening to that example. Only I, I can't hear the, uh, the exercise of the audio. Uh, what type of issue did it give you? Were you able to download it? I, I yes, I play and nothing is. Uh, Nothing, I, I, I listening. Okay, so when you played it, you didn't hear anything. When I played uh, the world, that, that's a, uh, how do you say? No corre. Okay, the so audio. The, the audio, audio. Or you were not able to play the audio? Yes. Okay, so that will be which one? The 1.5, the listening exercise? Yes, the listening exercise. All right, let me see. The, okay. Um, now, if you are having issues with that one, let me go ahead and help you. I just want to make sure it's the exercise that we are, we're talking about the same exercise. I look, just a minute. I look now. Is that so, one? Is this the one, 1. 1.5, the one in your screen? Yes, this is it. All right, very good. So in that case, uh, for Adrian also and Evelyn, if you haven't done it, go ahead and go to this part of your platform so we can, I'll go ahead and play it for you because I can play it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I try it again, but it's not safe. Okay. All right, so. All right, so instructions. I need a volunteer to help me read the instructions, please. Let me try. Let All right, try. thank you, sir. Instructions. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think Yoshiko, Renato, and Susan believe they are more typical or different from most people their age? All right, good job, good pronunciation. Uh, continue, please. Right beside their names, whether they are different or typical. Okay, very good. So pretty much it's, it's a simple exercise about you write it down if they are typical or different. Okay, are you ready guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we're ready. All right, let me play it for you then. Oh, Renato and Suzanne believe they are more typical or different from most people their age. One, Yoshiko. In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas, to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first, but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently, and I made a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. All right, guys. So is Yoshiko typical or different? 
Different. Different, correct. So she, um, let me see, Julia or Evelyn? Because Adriana already helped me reading. Why is she typical in some ways and why at the end she is different? Because her father uh, traveled a lot for his work, I think. Okay. I, I don't listen so good. <laughs> and then she learned to speak Spanish in yep. other countries. Okay. So in that case, that is why she is different from her classmates. Her classmates, yes. All right. Very good. Let's go ahead and play the next one. You ready, guys? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Renato. I don't know. My life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at 7 in the morning, and school finishes around the middle of the afternoon. After school, I usually study or play soccer. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping centers. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun. Most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to, to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them, but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really, overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. All right, so is he different or typical? Typical for your age. Mm -hmm. Typical for his age. This is actually a very good exercise, guys, because they speak a lot. And sometimes we just hear a word, for example, I'm typical, and we think we have the answer, but here is where we really practice our listening and comprehension. So good job. So at the end, he is typical. And the last one. Three, Suzanne. Uh, I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And, uh, oh yeah, I am also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from other schools in the U.S., though. We study all the core subjects like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike the other schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning about the arts. So, yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. All right, guys, different or the same? Different. 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 Okay, very good. So you got yourselves the answers. What was your sequel? It's the same? Different. 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 Renato? Typical. 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 And Suzanne? Different. Too. All right. Very good. So this is how your answer should look like. All right. Now we have this done. Um, Julia, Adrian, Evelyn, Nidia, do you, and Lourdes, do you have this exercise complete already? No. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. So very good. Thank you. I really hope that now you're able to get it done. Now, today's topic is pretty much going to talk about your past, and that's all we got, our experience. So it is very, very useful for you to know and learn how to talk about our past, about your past, okay? So mm -hmm. right now, let me go ahead and share the screen with you of what, what we're going to be doing today. Just a second. Let me share it here. Here we go. All right, so read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. At the end of the section, participants will be able to practice using use and will. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Evelyn. Now let's go ahead and everybody repeat after me so you can get the right pronunciation of everything. At the end of this section, at the, at end, the end of, of the section, section, mm -hmm. section. section. Participants, participants, participants will be able to practice. Will, will be, be able, able to, to practice, practice using used to and would. Using using used to and would. And would. Mm -hmm. and Here we gotta be careful with the pronunciation of used to. Used to. Used to. So we gotta make sure that somehow we pronounce the D a little bit, but not so strong. Used, and we used. get it here. Here, used, used to. Used to. Used to. Used to. Mm -hmm. used to. So that's the thing. The D is not gonna be released. This is a health sound. So you're gonna say used, and you're gonna used. get your tongue up for the D, right? And from the same position, you're gonna explode it to two. Used to. Used to. Very good. And the next one is wood. 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 Like madera wood. in English. Wood. Yeah. Now, uh, be careful with this one because many people say good, like it is good. So, and that's the wrong pronunciation, it's one of the most common mistakes, pronunciation mistakes. Uh, did you watch a movie about toys that come back to life? Oh, uh, Toy Story. Toy Story. <laughs> there you go. I didn't want to say the name, but you said it. Very good. What is the name of the cowboy? Woody. Woody. Hey. Woody. Woody. So, when you talk Woody. about wood, remember about Woody, one of our favorite Woody. characters. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, let's get it done. Let me go ahead and share this video with you so we can get hands on. All right. I'm ready. Read it, please. Past habitual with used to and would. Past, past habitual, habitual with, with, with used to and would. With and would. And would. All right, let's get it done. Let me know if you can hear any type of issue. Please report it. Hi, what did you used to do when you were a child? Can you hear? Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, I hear you. There we go. Did you used to play with dolls or marbles? Past habitual with used to and would. Used to and would can both be used to describe past actions or situations which are not longer true. However, would cannot be used with a stated verb such as live, be, have, or like. You always used to make me laugh. Classes didn't used to be so difficult. Remember the way we would sit around talking? I would see some great jacket but you wouldn't let me buy it. All right, so now we have this here, guys. I wanna ask you something. When do we use used to and would? What is the use? In Spanish? Mm, I would rather in English, <laughs> but if, <laughs> like the explanation of on when to use it. But if you okay. cannot find the words, then yeah, go ahead. In English, I don't know, it's the way that I deal the things before. Okay, so let me help you with this pretty much. Used to and would are used to, be, to describe situations that happened in the past, all right? It doesn't matter if they were continuously or just a couple of times and are no longer true, okay? So, for example, I used to skate, but like in a skateboard. What, excuse me? I used to skate, like in a skateboard. You know, skateboard? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Skate. A yep. skateboard, guys. You yep. were yes. a skater boy. I was a skater boy. Exactly, so I don't do it anymore because now I have a lot of responsibilities. I pretty much don't have time and I'm very fat. <laughs> so that's why I don't do it. So that's part of my past. Okay, I used to do it very often, but now I don't. It's no longer part of my life. Can I do it in the future? It doesn't matter because that's not what we're talking about. Okay, uh, I, I, I see. So, how do you say, for example, tu siempre solías hacerme reír? You used to 
always, you always. You always used to. You always used to. You always used to make me smile. 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 Laugh. In this Laugh. case, Laugh. Now, smile, guys, is sonreír. Right? Look at me smile. Okay. Fake, okay. right? A fake smile, but smile. Now, laugh is exactly what someone did there. <laughs> That's laugh. Laugh. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So, how do you say, las clases no solían ser tan diferentes? The classes didn't used mm -hmm. to be so... Different. Uh, different. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Pretty much. Now... Recuerda, ¿Recuerdas la manera en que nos sentábamos y hablábamos? Did you remember, Did you remember the part that we, the way, the way that we used to sit? We used to sit and... Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't know, I don't know if you have noticed, guys. But I'm asking you the questions we have right in front of, of us on the screen. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Now, I always try to play tricks on you. So, pretty much, guys, used to and would, they mean the same thing. Okay? Now, the difference is that you, uh, would, you cannot use it with these kind of verbs. With leave, be, have, or like. So, can you say, I used to play soccer and I would play soccer in the past? Yes. Yes, we can, because we are using the verb play. But uh, we cannot say, I would live in Canada. Yo solía vivir en Canadá. We cannot use would. Okay? Do, we, do you understand this part? Yep. Only, only those okay. verbs. Only these verbs, correct. So, okay. you have two options, guys. Either you memorize these verbs or you use used to. If you want to be on the safe side, how do you say, si quieres estar en como en lo seguro? If you want to be on the safe side, use used to. Simple as that. Why am I recommending you these guys? Because would is also for the future. I would mm. dance, yo bailaría. So this can create confusion if you do not use a right complement or a right context. Mm. Okay? I, I don't know if so I'm teacher, uh, teacher, uh, go ahead. So do you do you recommend if we want to be in the safe zone, use just to always? Yeah. That's for right. example. That does, so it, with those with those verbs, I can use use to always. Exactly. Okay. Thanks. Exactly. You can use use to. So, for example, here, if you see, if you see, remember the way we would sit around talking. Why do I know that this is past? Because we are using remember. Ah. Uh, so that lets me know that is in the past, and I know that would is for a situation that it was part of your life, but it's no longer true. So, if you want to be true, remember the way we used to sit around talking, and it's going to make it a lot easier. Are you getting my point? Okay. I got it. All right, very mm -hmm. good. Does anybody have a question about this? No. No? All right. Let's go ahead and continue with the video so we can start talking. If the sentence is affirmative, use used to. Example. I used to get up at seven every morning. If the sentence is negative, use didn't plus used to or would plus not. Examples, I didn't used to oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often. All right, guys, here is the negative part. How do you say yo no solía desvelarme? I didn't used to... I don't know that one. I don't know how to... Desvelarme 
you can say sleep late or go to bed late. Oh, no, no, my, my, no, I want to apologize, guys. Sleep late is despertarse tarde. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write it down here in the chat. Sleep late is despertarse tarde. For example, how do you say, no tengo que trabajar el sábado, me voy a despertar tarde. I don't have to work on Saturday. Uh -huh. I will. I will. Uh -huh, you're yeah. almost there. Sleep late. You have it right here. Sleep I, late. Uh -huh. So, voy a dormir hasta tarde. Right? And uh, desvelarse. Go to bed. Late. Late. Uh -huh. So, how do you say, yo no solía desvelarme? I didn't use to. I I didn't use to, I didn't use to, to go to, to bed, bed late. late. Mm -hmm. That's it. I didn't use to go to bed late. No solía desvelarme. But now, si ustedes dicen eso, quiere decir que ahora sí se desvelan. All right? That could be because you like to watch movies, because you are responsibly logged in into your English classes. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do. Of course, of course. There you go. Responsibility. So, I wanted to pay attention here, guys. Because we, you are using the auxiliary didn't for the negative, you don't use the the past here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I wanted to please pay attention on that little detail. Same as in simple past. If you use the auxiliary didn't, the verb is gonna be in base form. So I didn't use to. Got it. I got it. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish this. Both used to and would can express an action that was repeated regularly in the past, but only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past. Any question with this, guys? With this statement? All clear, teacher. All right. Let's get it done. So, just use, use to You know, I would play with Barbie dolls when I was little. Share in our discussion box things that you used to do when you were a child. All right. I don't know if you listen. I would play with baby dolls. What is the meaning of that in Spanish? Muñecas. Aha. But she says, I would play with baby dolls. Here. I yes, would play. Can she say Baby dolls. Barbie mm -hmm. or baby? I heard baby, but baby doll is something. Let me baby recap. Dolls. I heard baby dolls. But it can be Barbie dolls. Let's double check. Mm. No, you wouldn't. When I was little, sharing our discussion box, things. Let's listen to it. Again. You know, I would play with Barbie dolls when I was little. You're right, Barbie dolls. Baby doll is, you know, if you have a baby doll, then it means that, you know, a little pay, a little doll, a little, a little dress for Valentine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> for, for the next it's, a, it's a sexy dress. <laughs> Correct. Correct. All right. So as you can see here, I would play with Barbie dolls. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't like to play with a baby doll. Baby doll, you know, I might get in trouble. With <laughs> Hey, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. So if you say, I would play with Barbie dolls, it can mean, voy a jugar con muñecas. Right? But then she said at the end, when I was little, or when I was a child, I can remember. But the thing is that it can be confusing if you do not include the reference for the past. That's why I'm letting you know, I used to play with Barbie dolls will be better. So you don't get that confusion. Are we clear on this one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. So guys, this is what we're going to do. Let me see how many people do I have. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I have enough people for this. The next step is the same thing that we did yesterday. I have a group of questions. Okay. For example, who used to be your hero when you were young? 
did you used to have a pet? And those type of questions. What used to be your favorite games to play when you were a child? So we're gonna be answering these questions and the next 30 minutes of the class are gonna be pure speaking, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, fantastic. So enough theory, enough grammar, let's get it done. This is how it's gonna happen. Remember the timer, the website for the timer? Yes, I remember. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Anyway, just in case. So this is how it's gonna be, guys. I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna give an example. And then you go to the break rooms. You're gonna have the break rooms for two minutes, 30 seconds for you to express your opinions about it. And then we come back. So immediately after the two minutes, 30 seconds, we come back to the main group, okay? Okay. All right, any questions? No. No, I said, what's the water clear then? All right, so yeah. first question would be, who used to be your hero when you were young? Repeat it with me. Who used to be your hero when you were young? Who used to be your hero when you were young? Young. 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 Here. Who used to be your hero Your hero when you were young? Lourdes, please yes. ask me the question. Hi. Who used to be your hero who when you, you were young? Who used to be your hero when you were young? Well, to be honest with you, I can't remember who used to be my hero when I, were, when I was young, but I think it was the, uh, the Green Power Ranger. <laughs> I what? So. How, old, how old are you? I'm 32. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now I got it. Too young. <laughs> so, but then it, was, it was, <laughs> then it was Tommy, the White Power Ranger, or, or I think it was the same, I can't remember, but they used to be my heroes. So once upon a time, and you can tell a story, but always play with time, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so let's go with the break rooms. I'm gonna have two or three participants. Make sure you accept the invite, which has been sent to you. Two minutes, 30 seconds, and we come back. Let's make it happen. Invite sense. Adrian, ready? Accepted. All right, so we are just waiting for no one. Let's go, let's join. Set the timer and let's join. When I was a child, uh, the, this cartoon, it, it was very famous. Mm, okay, yes, I, I used to, to watch it too. Yeah, well, I, I used to play with the toys of that show. And, well, Iman was my, my hero. <laughs> Iman. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. And you, Martin? Yeah, I'm trying to remember who was my hero. Uh, you can say there. When I was young. You can say there. I'm trying to remember who used to be my hero. Just who to practice the structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or, I try to remember. Who, uh huh. My apologies. I'm trying to remember who my hero used to be. So you can use. Mm -hmm. Who my hero used to be when All I right. was young. So, uh, what is the name of that Ultraman? Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You okay. remember Ultraman? Yes, Ultraman. Yeah, Ultraman was one of my favorite heroes at that time. He was the one that used to fought, uh, fight up, uh, with the bundle. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Uh, my hero uh, used to be, I don't know if you remember him because the uh, 
the series was uh, very small. It was uh, Roger Ramjet and uh, I don't know how to say the the baby of the eagles. The baby of the eagles. Yeah, the baby of the eagles. Yes. Oh. But it the name in Spanish was Roger Ramjet y los aguiluchos. It was a very silly series and it was a, a ridicule uh, hero. It was a, a funny, a comic, really, really comic uh, hero. But I liked him, I used to like him because he was fun, he was so innocent. Okay. And he was a, a pilot, he, 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 Good. Uh, fly, the pass was fly? Flew. 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 They flew uh, mm -hmm. jets and uh, the little boys, the little eagles, they have the little um, planes too. I'm, I'm Googling how do you call them? Eaglet. Eaglet. Mm -hmm. okay. Eaglet, like eagle with a T at the end. That is the... Okay. Mm -hmm. It's eaglet. incredible what you can find. How do you call the baby of an eagle? That's what I typed in Google and I got the answer. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back to the main room. We're going to be changing questions. All right, guys. So I need one volunteer to answer that question before we go to the next. Who's going to be the visiting right now? Anybody? Mm -hmm. When I say everybody, everybody's muting your microphones, right? Hmm. Don't hide. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I want mute. let's go ahead and find some. Hey, hello, hello. Uh-huh. So who talked, Ricardo? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm traveling to, to my home, but I, I, I listen, I, I can listen. Okay, so, well, I can see you're not driving, so I'm gonna ask you this yeah. question. Who used to be your hero yeah. when you were young? Um, we was talking about Power Rangers. Yeah. That was uh, a classic uh, series. Series, okay. So, I, 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 I remember that my favorite Power Ranger was uh, red color Power Ranger. Oh, that was Jason. That was Jason. Jason yeah. Uh huh. But try to use the try to use the structure. Sorry, I almost. Okay. Okay. So how do you say mi mi héroe favorito solía ser el Power Ranger rojo? My favorite hero used to used to be used to be the red color Power Ranger. The Red Power Ranger. Yeah, the Red Power Ranger. Uh huh. Okay. Fantastic. That's well used. Alrighty, guys. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to have a pet? I'm typing okay. that here in the chat. Did you used to have a pet? Uh huh. Did you used to have a pet? All right. So. Let me answer this question. Yes, guys, I used to have a lot of pets. I had iguanas, parrots, fish, like four dogs at the same time, Rottweiler, uh, German Shepherd, Chihuahua, uh, Samoyedo, and, okay. so on, and so on and so on. I even had a raccoon, a mapache. So yes, I used to have pets, I used to love them, but I, I didn't used to clean after them. Clean after is limpiar después de alguien. Clean after. My my father used to clean after the animals, and he used to get really upset with me because I was very irresponsible. I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm still irresponsible when it takes about taking care of animals. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm talking about my experience. You gotta try to speak the same way I do it. You gotta try to mirror me, guys. Let's go ahead and answer this question. Two minutes, 30 seconds. I'm going to send the invite. You ready? Okay, sure, I'm ready. There we go. There you go. Accept, please.
All right, let's go ahead and visit. I was in this group before. Let me go to this one. Well, I used to have dogs only, but talking about the type of dog, I barely remember. I don't know if it was a cocker, uh, 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 sorry, I don't know if it was a cocker spaniel mm -hmm. or something like that. It was similar to that type of breed. That type of breed, correct, good vocabulary. Hmm. Continue, I'm not here, I'm just here to help, but you know, keep, keep it going. Did you used to have a pet? Uh, yes. I always used to have a pet. Uh, for example, I used to have a parrot and also dog. It's mostly the pets I used to have. Um, maybe a pet, the last pet I had, dog, sorry, the last dog I had uh, was four years ago. Now I only had a have a cat. And you and you, Julia? You yeah. used to have a pet? I didn't used to have a pet. <laughs> um, because my mom uh, didn't like oh. <laughs> she had uh, some cats, but she said because uh, the mouse <laughs> Only um, for in, that. In that case, it would be very mice. convenient. Mice. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Mice is the plural of mouse. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mice. Uh, the... She had cats for that. Mice. Uh -huh. Only. She had. She had cats she because had, of the she mice. Had. Oh, okay. Okay. She mm -hmm. had cats mice. only for mice. I I don't like that. Nope. <laughs> because we I have... afraid of all the. I'm afraid of dogs. Okay, you got 30 seconds, guys. So we can go back to the chat. Oh, you you yeah, have a friend? Loves dogs. Ah, oh, but do you have a dog right now? No, because I like cats and my husband hates cats. <laughs> <laughs> and he likes dogs and I don't like dogs. You don't like. <laughs> that so is you called. Don't... That is called an Im an impasse. That means that there's no agreement. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, let's go back. Okay. All right, so right now I'm just waiting for the rest of the people to come back and we're gonna ask a volunteer. Okay, yeah, they're still talking. Alrighty, in the meantime, let me see. Robert, would you like to share with the group the question? Did you used to have a pet? Well, when I was young, I used to have a pet. I used to have a specific a dog. Uh, the breed of this dog was Cocker Spaniel. That's so far what I do remember. Okay. And how was your interaction with the dog? Well, I have always been interacting with dogs since I was a child. Okay. But with that dog in particular, because there's people who, for example, if it's your brother's dog, you don't really get along with the dog. But if the dog is yours, and when you get home from school, I used to spend my pretty much the whole afternoon with my chihuahua, we were super friends. Okay. So, but, how was your interaction with your pet, with the cocker spaniel you're mentioning? That was owned by uh, by the family. I mean, ah. everyone in the family always interact with dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no, there's not just like a particular preference for them. Mm, okay, totally understand. Thank you very much. Now, guys, the next question we have, and please don't cry. All right. That's right there. Did you used to get good grades in high school? So 
Oh, repeat it with me, please. Did you used to get good grades in high school? Did you used to get good grades in my high school? Very good. Well, guys, let me tell you that I was, I was not the best of the students, to be honest with you, because I was always the, like, one of the, the, the leader of the group who was always messing around. But I was always super good in English, you know. And at the end, I ended up teaching what I was good at, what I liked. <laughs> So, no, I was not a good student, to be honest with you. What about you guys? I'm going to open up the break rooms again. Please accept the invite and answer this question. Did you used to get good grades in high school? Yes, no, maybe, and why? There we go. Invite 10. All right. There we go. Raised in high school, um, to be honest, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I used to uh, be a normal student in my high school, but in the university, uh, I improved my grades and I yeah. get um, a scholarship. I yep. got I got a scholarship in past. I get uh, I get a scholarship. Scholarship. Okay. okay. Uh, in my case, I used to be an average student. Not good, but not bad. Not bad student. Okay. Now, in these type of situations, whenever you really don't know what to say you can include, ask yourself the WH questions. Why? Well, I was not a bad student because blah, blah, blah. When? When I was in seventh grade, eighth grade. Who? Well, and my, my best friend, Changmiko, we used to go out, we used to skip classes. Try to get more information, guys. Okay. Evelyn, do you remember the name of your classmate? Or your, or your best friends in that time? Mm, I used had a uh, one friend, and yep. in that time uh, is my my best friend. Uh, yep. Her name is Marcela. Ah. Okay, so you stay in touch. You keep in touch. Yesterday's class. You had a that. Two teacher? Um, no, I don't. Continue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, come on, teacher. Continue. <laughs> come on, you, you're not supposed In to pay arm. attention. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed, supposed to pay attention to my screen. Come on, go ahead and practice. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, come on. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily, there are just 30 seconds left, so I can get out of this break room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you? Answer your own question, Ricardo. Okay, um, I used to have a good friend at that time. H how do you say padrino? How do you say padrino? Godfather. Okay, uh, I forget the movie, okay. Uh, <laughs> he's the, the godfather of my little baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I keep in contact, well, obviously, with that I guy is a really, really good person. Nice. I keep in touch. Yesterday's vocabulary. Oh, yeah. I, okay, okay. I keep in touch. All right. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thank you. Don't tell anybody about what you saw. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, okay, matter. okay. All right. <laughs> that's, our, that's our secret. That's our secret. Yeah. All right, then. I'll see you there. Okay. All right. So let's get everybody back. And we have one more question. All right, guys, thank you very much. Now, before we go to the next question, I need a volunteer to answer this one. Anybody, please. Uh, to read it or? To answer, to answer the question. To answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I'll try. Go ahead. All right, did you used to get good grades in high school? Sorry, teacher, could you repeat? I don't have good reception. Sure. Did you used to get good grades in high school? 
Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I used to I used to be the average student. No good grades, but but no 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 bad. Okay. All right, very good. Now that's that's a fantastic answer, but I need you to give me more information. Why, when, who okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I was uh, by the way, I always I always uh, waste my time in video games. That's my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That time I I bought a Nintendo sixty four. Oh okay, good. Do you remember that console? My and I always waste my time that kind of a place. Okay, all right, very good, very good. So thank you very much for more information. And guys, I have the last question for this one. I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay? Because we, I'm pretty sure we have a lot to talk about. And the question is in simple, well, it's actually in simple present, the question, but I want you to use used to because we can talk about it. So read it with me, please. Do you think the past was better than the present? Do you think the past was better than the present? Why or why not? Why, why, or, why, or, why, not? why or why not? Well, I consider, guys, that it was better in many different ways because we used to go outside and play with our friends. Okay? The streets weren't so dangerous. Um, we used to be able to walk on the street very late at night, and now mm -hmm. it's something that we cannot do. So give your opinion about this. I'm going to open the groups again. And this is going to be the last one before I let you go, okay? Okay. All right. Please accept the invite. There we go. All right. So we're just waiting for Martin and Nidia to accept the invite. All right, let's double check it. I'm doing this for a minute. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think we used to think that the past time was, was better than the present time. I don't what? know if it's for, how do you say, nost I don't, don't know if it's nostalgia or something like that. Because when you were young, you feel the things were, were, um, Good question. Let me check. Easier for you. But I think every time has, uh, its own violence and things, weird things and everything like that. I don't know. I, every time, for me, the past was better, but I think my, Song will say that the same in mm -hmm. some years. My son would. Would. Got it. Nostalgia. 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 Mm -hmm. Nostalgia. Correct. Nostalgia. Now it depends. If you really, in this case, it's nostalgia. But if, for example, you go to another country and you miss El Salvador, that kind of nostalgia that will be homesick. To be homesick. Homesick, yes. Homesick. But this one is nostalgia. I, I just okay. double checked it. All right, guys. Let me check yeah. another another group. Keep on talking. You're doing a great job. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And now, uh, our children, they can to do it because it's so dangerous. And and I think uh, now the technology, like you said, uh, is better than the past. The technology? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, so repeat it with me, please. Technology. Technology. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I, I was muted, but I heard dangerous, and it will be dan dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say dangerous it with me, please. Then, look at my mouth here. 
dangerous. 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 There you dangerous. go. Correct. Okay. And the te technology is better in this time than the, the last time because you can do a lot of things. You can speak uh, with your family in other countries. Or uh, you can buy uh, online if you don't want to go out to the, to the mall. And only I think there are a lot of things more. Good participation, guys. Let's go ahead and go back to the main session, right? Okay. All right, let's bring everybody back. We're gonna be waiting for them to come back one by one. Alrighty, so Julia, Lourdes, and Robert, thank you very much. We're just waiting for the rest of the people to come. Now, before I let you go, which one of you would you like to answer the question? I just have you. Okay. Julia? I'll try. Okay. Uh, well, for me, uh, I'm not sure about this question because I think uh, in, in some aspects it's better the, the past, past than the present. But for example, um, the levels of violence and uh, the environment, the, you know, the weather change. And I, I I don't know the thing was more um, more healthy the food. Uh, oh, okay. There, that's a good opportunity. Sorry to interrupt. To use the food used to be healthier. Oh, okay. The food used to be healthier. Okay. And things like that. All but, right. Um, uh, the present, you know, the communications are better, technology. Communication is better, yes. It's better, uh, technology is better, and for example, uh, medic medicine is, is more advanced than the past. Uh, but, well, we have a new virus, you know. Yeah. Okay. But, Excellent participation, Lourdes. I think you gave a lot of information and we managed to use the structure, the structure whenever it was needed. So guys, I want to say thank you very much for being another, another time here with us, trying to learn this beautiful language. And uh, I appreciate your commitment because for some people, Thursday is Little Friday, especially today that many people got paid. So my sincere <laughs> appreciation, yeah. all right? Um, as far as this, remember, every time you finish a class, the next day, try to think about it the whole day. Oh, you know what? I used to do this thing. Make it personal, practice, and that's the way that you're going to improve, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. I really hope that you have liked the class on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Again, thank you very much. My name is Alejandro Narbona. I hope, remember, no class tomorrow. Don't be waiting for me at, <laughs> at 8 p.m. because I will not be here. Okay, right. no classes so guys, on Friday. No classes on Friday. See you Monday, guys. It was a pleasure. Enjoy your weekend. See you. Bye. See you. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye.